Whether you're buying your first domain name or you're a regular domain investor, you need the right tools for the job. That's why you need Domain Tools. They can help you research the history of a domain, including who owned it and what used to be on the site. They can notify you when a domain is expiring, and they can even alert you when competitors are buying domains. DomainTools.com needs to be in your toolbox like it is in mine. Sign up for your free account on DomainTools.com today. If you're a domain name investor, don't you have unique legal needs that require technical know-how and industry experience? That's why you need David Westlow of Wiley Ryan. If you watched his interview on my show, you know he can clearly explain issues and help you with buy-sell agreements, website content issues, UDRP actions, or even website terms and conditions. David Westlow is the lawyer you call for internet legal issues. See for yourself at newmediaip.com. Managing multiple domain name marketplace and auction site accounts is a pain. We all know it. Inevitably, you forget to sign into one, you lose a great domain. Now imagine using a single, simple-to-use, comprehensive control panel to manage all of your accounts. That's Protrata. With just a few clicks, you can analyze, set filters, automate your bidding, and sell your domains across all major marketplaces, including Namejet, GoDaddy, and Snapdames. You can build out websites using their customized Google-friendly templates. They also just launched a fresh new look and provide some great resources like a personal assistant named Alfred and video tutorials with tips and tricks. I've been beta testing their iPhone app, and it is slick. Get your free 14-day trial now at Protrata.com. Here's your program. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Seiger and I'm the publisher of DomainSherpa.com, the website where you come to learn how to become a successful domain name entrepreneur directly from the experts. How do you take a good domain name in a questionable TLD, such as .info, and turn it into a $56,000 per month revenue source? Joining me to answer this question is Andrew Hazen. Andrew is the founder and CEO at Domain Wealth with the URL DomainWealth.com. Andrew, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you having me on. We got on the phone yesterday, Andrew, and we did a pre-interview call. I asked you um, what you were working on, and you listed a host of items, including being of counsel to a law firm right now, working on some digital assets, your, your new Domain Wealth membership system, and a few other things. You said after a few weeks off that you were raring to go again. So for those in the audience that don't know about your background, let me summarize it briefly. In 1998, you started a company a few weeks out of law school ca called Prime Visibility. Uh, and, and the way I understand it, it was a full service search engine marketing company specializing in search engine optimization, pay-per-click internet marketing, and, and things like that. About a decade later, you sold that company, Prime Visibility, to Prime Visibility Media Group um, which was basically a uh, private equity funded uh, startup that acquired your company as well as another online company. Uh, then on November 9th, a public company in the UK called Blinks, B-L-I-N-K-X, bought Prime Visibility Media Group for $36 million in cash. How, how'd I do on that summary? You did great. All right, accurately, cool. Accurately stated it. All right, so let me, um, let me back up then and ask you a few questions. I read online that Prime Visibility was or is about 60 people. Uh, how, let, me, let me ask you something about when you owned it, when you sold it. When you sold sure. the company in 2008, how many uh, full-time employees in or full-time employees uh, did you have? We closed on the original transaction in December of 07. At that time, I had 57 people here in the United States and 12 people in India. Oh, wow. Okay, so when it's a good size medium business. It's no GE yes. with 10,000 employees, but it's no small mom and pop, you know, search engine marketing shop with two people who banded together. No, we had a $3 million payroll and hundreds of clients and, you know, a lot of commotion, but it was a lot of fun. And more recently, when the company was acquired in December of 2011, the company is down to about 28 to 30 full-time people. Wow. Down, huh? Down. Did did a lot of upgrading, in my opinion. We went from, you know, hiring people at one price point, and then you know, hired higher qualified people and got people to do the jobs of two and a half people. Yeah, 
All right. And so one of the other things I noticed when I was doing some research is that your company, Prime Visibility, before you sold it, you made Inc.'s list of fastest growing private companies in America. Um, and in order to make that ranking, I believe what you have to do is um, show up percentage revenue growth over a four-year period with a minimum of 200,000 revenue the first year and at least 2 million in the latest year that you provided. So with a, with a uh, payroll of $2 million, you clearly had revenue above that number. Yes, we are extremely fortunate to make the ink list of fastest growing companies in both 2007 and again in 2008. Um, revenues exceeded four or five million dollars uh, in 07 and was over six million for 08. Wow. And I looked all over the web, Andrew, and I, I uh, tried to pride myself on doing research before I get on on an interview with somebody and I could not find how much you sold your company for back in 2008. Yeah, that is not uh, that's not out there. But I, I can tell you that the valuation was uh, an eight-figure valuation back in '07 when the company was originally acquired. Fantastic! In late '07, and so um, were you 100% owner of the company, or did you have partners as well that owned shares? I owned 100% of the company. Uh, ironically, um, you know, you mentioned earlier, I did practice law for about eight weeks before I started Prime Visibility. Mm -hmm. So the lawyers at the original law firm backed me, and I bought that the lawyers in August of 2006, and uh, sold the company about a year later, where I had 100% equity. Wow! I bet they were kicking themselves, weren't they? Yeah, I gave them what I call schmuck insurance, thinking <laughs> that nothing else was going to happen over the years that followed from my acquisition. So. They got they had a they had a nice little payday themselves, but it would have been much greater if they had stayed in. Nice. Um, all right. So uh, uh, eight figures clearly indicating that it was over a ten million dollar mark. Um, and uh, and as I said earlier, the company that you sold to was then purchased by a public company, and they mm -hmm. made it public that they purchased Prime Visibility Media Group for thirty six million. Did you still have share when you sold Prime Visibility? Did you have shares in the um, parent company? Yes. So when we closed in December of '07, I reinvested into PV Media Group, which was, as you correctly stated, the holding company, which had uh, us and a company in Arizona. Gotcha. So when they sold, then it was uh, another payday for you. Yes, like they said, the second bite of the apple. Fantastic. Thank All right. The re so, so for the audience's benefit, the reason I spent so much time on your background and how you um, built Prime Visibility from scratch into a search engine marketing powerhouse and sold it for eight figures um, and then helped that parent company just last year sell is that I want people to realize that you know your subject matter when it comes to search engine optimization and marketing. Um, yes. And in fact, you know, you wrote a book on it. I, I think yes. the book title was Search Engine Optimization, Plain and Simple. I've written the book. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Search Engine Optimization, Plain and Simple. Nice. Came out in 2008. All right. So why is all this important that, you know, I, I told people that you sold for an eight figure number and that you uh, have years in search engine optimization and marketing is because you took a domain name with a .info TLD, a .info extension, and turned it into a nice recurring cash business. And, and for those that may not know about .info, you can usually go to like uh, a registrar like godaddy.com and get a .info for $1.99. A lot of people say that .infos are throwaways. They'll, they'll buy .infos and they'll use them for just development domains or something like that. But you turned it into a nice recurring cash business. What was the domain name? The domain was coup or is coupons.info. Coupons.info. Okay. And so coupons is a great domain, um, questionable extension. Um, yeah. Did um, we'll get into how you actually bought it later? But what was the highest monthly revenue you've generated from coupons.info? The best month of revenue for the coupon network, as I like to refer to it, was just shy of fifty-six thousand dollars in May of two thousand. Uh, 11. All right. And, and for those in the audience that, um, uh, you know, maybe questioning the, the figures that Andrew is stating, you know, I've got my cell phone right here and Andrew was kind enough to send me, um, a, uh, uh, his reports from Google AdSense that actually show exactly what Andrew was talking about. It's, uh, it's quite amazing. I wish I had a Google AdSense account that said the numbers that are showing up on your account, Andrew. 
All right, so how are you generating such high revenue from the coupons.info network? Did you sell coupons? No. Uh, it started back in 2008 when I started hand registering coupon related domain names. And I came up with this knack where they all started with the word all, A L L. Uh -huh. And because my background is in search, I was able to gain prime visibility, no pun intended, <laughs> for the, uh, the handful or so of, of websites and started to monetize them. And you know, quickly it went from a dollar a day to five dollars a day to fifteen dollars a day and started building up there. So um, at one point the flagship site was allcouponsdirect.com. Hmm. And as a marketing person and as a branding person, I felt that that wasn't brandable and no one's really going to remember allcouponsdirect.com. Right. So I was looking for that you know, domain name that I can put on the top of the entire network as to be the portal or the hub. And that's when I came across uh, coupons.info was up for auction through Great Domains. All right. And, so hold, uh, that, hold that thought there because I'm going to dig into how you bought it. But sure. um, so you've got this network of all coupons and, and you were making money and it went from a dollar a day to five dollar a day to fifteen dollars a day. How were you actually, was all that money being made on Google AdSense? Yes, 98% uh, of the revenue, beside from some affiliate and email marketing, a majority of the revenue was made off of Google AdSense. Wow. And the month in May 2011, the month that you made just shy of $56,000, was that all Google AdSense as well? That is all Google AdSense, correct. Wow. So that's a boatload of money that you made, but it's also a boatload of money that Google made yes. off of what you off of what you did. You know, it's uh, I think ad Adam Dicker had stated previously that Google only pays out about a third of everything that they make. Correct. So I've, the, I've been on the assumption it's about 28 to 30 percent of wow. the actual uh, revenue. All right. Um, and when you yeah. bought coupons.info, what was the revenue of the domain name at that time? Of the network? Oh, uh, no, no, no. When you bought coupons.info. Yeah, I, I think it was a park site. It, it wasn't was just a park site. Yeah, it wasn't generating any revenue. Okay. And um, and so you had your entire network, which we'll go into at the time, and you were making some money off of the all coupons network at that time? Yeah, before I purchased coupons.info, I would say that the network was probably averaging between, you know, probably around $2,000 a month. Yeah, okay. All right, this is exciting, Acro Andrew. Across gonna... probably 30 or 40 plus websites. Okay, cool. So we're going to go through this network um, from your domain name acquisitions to building it out to marketing it and and uh, to monetization your plans for the future if you're watching this show now's the time you want to pause it go get a pad of paper to take notes go get a beverage of your choice and then come back and start it back up so uh, let's get down to business here Andrew so if we go back in time you first acquired coupons.info after you started this network so tell me about the first time you had the idea for creating a coupons network? Well, it was again back in 2008, so the economy was kind of falling apart. I was mm -hmm. fortunate enough to just have sold the company, and I went out to my first um, domain fest in California. And I was thinking about the economy and recession proof ideas, and how as a marketer I can have recurring revenue with. I don't want to say we're doing little work because everything takes work, but do some heavy lifting in the beginning and get it to uh, work on its own. Right. So I came to realize that you know death taxes uh, are inevitable, and as a result of that, I actually bought Funeral.info, which is another <laughs> TLD at the Domain Fest auction in January of 2008, mm -hmm. and I started looking about couponing. And uh, admittedly, I'm not one to use coupons. Um, but I realized that no matter what was going on in the economy, it was something that people were going to be using to help.